I, I came back from England to the United States in December of 1965. The Sounds of Silence had become a big hit, and I returned, you see, and uh, I had to make this transition from being relatively unknown in England to a sort of semi-famous type uh, here. And uh, I, uh, no, I didn't adjust, adjust well. Uh, it was always slightly embarrassing to me, uh, teeny bobs, etc. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I used to think, Jim, all my sweets are gone. Good times gone, left over in England. And all the songs I was writing, very down type of songs, nothing happy. And until about last June, for some reason, last June, I started to come out of it. I started to get into a good mood. I don't know why. One day, I was riding along in my Aston Martin, and I said to myself, hmm, no, I really, don't, I really don't have an Aston Martin. In fact, I don't have any car at all. I was, I was the type of kid, when I was in Paris, we would sit on the banks of the Seine in Paris, and when the tourist boats would go by, you know, I would yell out, capitalist pig. I thought that was nice. So we're, oh yes, last June, that's right. So here I am getting into this pleasant frame of mind. And I was coming home one morning about six o'clock in the morning. And coming over the 59th Street Bridge in New York. And what a groovy day it was. A real good one. And one of those times when you know you're not gonna be tired for about an hour, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be nice. So I started writing a song, which later became the 59th Street Bridge song, or Feeling Groovy. Red lights, I applaud you. <laughs> it's really so Pavlovian, isn't it? It's... It's really nice. <laughs> 